this toolbox lid here was a um, birthday slash wedding present in April of 2000. It was birthdays in June. And he gave this lid to Ed, and he wanted Ed to put his hot rod on there, which is fine, because the hot rod represents something he and I love doing together. Um, and being business owners, things don't happen often quickly, and Matt changes his mind, so it never got painted. Uh, Ed, I invited Ed to the birthday party, and Ed came up with this perfect idea to put the kids on the toolbox. Actually, he wanted to do the whole family. And I had just come back from the coast and had these great pictures of Matthew with the children walking on the beach. This was uh, the day before the triplets turned three. It was the very first time they had ever seen the ocean. And um, they had just come home from being gone for eight days. Matt was finishing up his radioactive iodine treatment for the thyroid cancer that we found this earlier this year. So I said, that would be great, and it would be perfect, and there's not a whole bunch of other stuff. But I didn't have all four of my kids in that picture. So I had one of my employees went with us to the coast, and he had a picture of Gavin. So I got sent the pictures to Tyson Martin and said, Tyson, do what you can. See if you can get Gavin in this picture with the others so that Ed can put this on the toolbox. Because I really want all four kids on the toolbox with their dad. So Tyson did that. And he's a god. And then Ed decided that he didn't, the boys were wearing hoods. And Ed decided he didn't want the hoods. He wanted to see their heads. So we took yet another picture and had their heads put in place of the covered hooded heads so you could see the boys' heads. And that's the finished product is actually a picture that doesn't really exist. And uh, he's going to airbrush this on this lid of this toolbox. And we're going to give it to Matthew for his birthday. We're going to give it to him on Saturday. And I hope you <laughs>